Hello, I'm Ibex Tiger, and today I'm going to give you some class up tips and tips and tricks in general for the Scorpion Evo 3 or the Scorpion Evo, whatever you want to call it. We can just call it the Scorpion if you really want, because it is made by the same manufacturers. But there's a whole crazy story behind that, I think maybe. Uh, but yeah, so the Scorpion Evo and uh, this gameplay in the background is my very first swarm ever, uh, because I decided I was level 54. I was like, let's just put on the swarm and dogs because they're a hilarious combination if you get them to work. Uh, and I'd never gotten them before, so I was like, let's just put them on, see if we can get them in this last level. And I put them on on the very first game. It might be the second game actually I got them and I was like yeah but I wasn't recording so I just wasn't in a uh, sort of you know like po uh, focused mood that's the word uh, so the theater mode I had to use and then the theater mode cut halfway through so I was sad about that but it's my first one anyway so you can relive the excitement with me but anyway Scorpion Evo 3 so the Scorpion Evo 3 is the fastest firing weapon in the game I believe uh, if not it's the fastest firing submachine gun at 1200 rounds per minute uh, which means it you know, fires 20 rounds a second, which is definitely something you don't want to doubt, um, or you know, underestimate. Which, uh, and also the other downside, well, the downside to counter that is it has low-ish damage, uh, being one of the low damage SMGs at 33 to 18 damage, or four bullets at close and six bullets at, bullets at distance. But because it deals, because it has such a high fire rate, it actually has one of the better damage per seconds at long range and one of the better damage per seconds at close range, uh, in exchange for you know high recoil and uh, arguably bad iron sights. So, you know, if you can learn to uh, deal with the recoil, or if you like recoil because it's something to learn, which is uh, something most guns in Black Ops 2 lack, um, then this gun really does do some excellent, excellent work for you because, uh, as you can see in this game, you can pre-fire and it's just still extremely brilliant. You can do so much stuff. Uh, but yeah, but as far as attachments go, to make the most of that, I think the best two I've I've found so far, you can see me using them in this game, are the laser sight and the fast mags. Because you can use extended mags if you want uh, as a replacement for that. Uh, but I just use fast mags because uh, because fast mags is different for every weapon. On the Scorpion Evo, it really benefits from it. It might even be faster than uh, double the reload speed. Uh, and you, as you can see, it just sort of, you flip the magazine and it's done instantly. And there's a really big reload cancel on it, so it's just like wow, uh, non-stop firing capacity. Uh, so that's that's why I'd recommend laser sight and fast mags. So you can hit fire and you know get those pre fires off, which is where this gun really excels. Um, and you can also manage to do stuff just uh, you know like. Um, you know, go go ahead and like just get people at long range of uh, you know just spraying and spraying and spraying till you get six bullets on them. It's just a, it's just a really fun combination in my opinion. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, as far as perks go, what I'd recommend you use this first perk. I was using hardline because I obviously wanted a swarm. Uh, and also, there's a little bit of camping here, but don't don't worry. It's just because I want my swarm really badly. Uh, but when it when it gets cooled, it's hilarious. But yeah, hardline if you want the higher kill streaks or even the lower kill streaks. Uh, it, it really depends if you're sort of a kill streak player or not, because something about the kill streaks motivate me to do that a little bit better. Because if I'm like, you know, halfway towards a kill streak, like, yeah, let's just uh, chill down a bit. If I'm not, then I'll just be unfocused to run around. But that's just a personal preference. Uh, lightweight, if you don't have any preference there, because uh, you know it's close range. Bit, being that bit closer to close range is quite handy of this uh, when compared to say the PDW or the MSMC. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to use lightweight if you're not sure there. Uh, second perk. Honestly, none of them really do much. I put Cold Blooded on, it's just a staple perk, because it's like, I have a point spare, might as well put Cold Blooded on. Uh, Fast Hands is an alternative, and so is uh, Scamger, but eh, I, I didn't really find any use. Although I guess if you are spamming like crazy, then Scamger is quite handy. Uh, and then third perk, uh, Dexterity, Extreme Conditioning, Engineer, any two of those. Uh, or you can just use one if you want, and you should have a really beastly class up for the Scorpion Evo. And you should have a super good time like me with it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you out somewhere along the line, sorry it was so short, but theatre mode's evil and decided to cut up my gameplay. Uh, like it if you like it, or if you decide to use it, or something along those lines. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, check out the multiplayer playlist if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.